Hey guys, I'm Lance and welcome back to the Casual TCG. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over three competitive decks that are budget friendly. I'm talking $60 or less, really good decks. Uh, they've won some things, they've come placed really high in the recent standings. Let's jump right into them. So first off here we have Goons. As you can see on the screen right here, we've got uh, the, the Zigzagoon line. Galarian Zigzagoon, Galarian Lanoon, and Galarian Obstagoon. Now the goal of this deck is to place damage counters down with Galarian Zigzagoon. When you place it onto the bench, you get to place a damage counter. And then when you evolve into Galarian Obstagoon, when you get to play it from your hand to evolve, you get to place three damage counters. And then you just go all in with Obstruct. Obstruct does 90 damage, and then your opponent can't attack with basic Pokemon. Well, they can't attack, but it prevents all damage, so they do no damage. But, you know, if it was, uh, if you put like uh, a poison, if you're up against a poison deck, they would still poison you and stuff like that. Either way, still a really good deck. Um, this obstructs a lot of the meta as it is right now. Kills off a lot of those, uh, you know, like um, Mewtwo decks and stuff like that. So really good. That is, uh, these right here are very cheap. As you can see, this deck right here is only $41.48. This is the market price as of right now. The high has been $154, but right now things are low and things are good. So this is what I would consider a budget deck. Also, it has been as low as $27. So either way, let's uh, jump into what else is in here. We got four Four Professor's Research, discard your hand and draw seven, always good. Three Rosa, this is probably honestly the most expensive part of the deck. These Rosas right here are kind of rare and they are really good. You can only play it if one of your Pokemon was knocked out, so not a big deal. But uh, search your deck for a Pokemon, a trainer card, and a basic energy put them into your hand, or reveal them and put them into your hand. So what that means, if you've got a Galarian Zigzagoon up front, and they knock it out and you've got more Zigzagoons on the bench. You just play a Rosa, search your deck for a another Pokemon, so a say a Galarian Obstagoon, a Rare Candy, and an Energy. And then you're up and swinging on that very next turn. It is really good card for stage two decks. It's amazing. Next up we have two Marnie and this is a, uh, a better judge. You get to shuffle your hand, put it at the bottom of your deck and draw five cards while your opponent does the same thing, only he only draws Four cards, so really good there. Pokegear 3.0, this is just to help search your deck for those uh, Rosas and your Professor Magnolias. This um, Pokegear says look at the top seven, put a supportive card you find there into your hand. Evolution Incense, because it allows you to just search out any evolution Pokemon. Quick Ball, because if you discard a card, it allows you to search out a uh, basic Pokemon, you're going to see a lot of recurring uh, themes here in a lot of these decks. They're going to be a lot of the that's the same. Uh, we have four of the rare candy because of course you've got to evolve from that zigzagoon into obstagoon if possible. Four switch to get that thing out of the active and start hitting again. Four Lily's Poke Doll. Now Lily's Poke Doll is pretty good in this deck. It's uh, pretty crucial actually. So what you can do is it's an item card but you can play it as a Pokemon onto the bench. When you do that it becomes a Pokemon but your opponent cannot take any prizes. So what that means is you can uh, put up whatever you need, switch into Lily's Poke Doll and when they knock it out they do not get any prizes. That includes with ADP. Even though ADP gives them an extra prize card they're not taking any anyway. So you can't take zero plus zero plus zero is still zero. We have four Acrobite for a little bit of consistency. Look at the top two cards, discard one, put the other in your hand. Two Ordinary Rods, shuffle up to two Pokemon or two energies or a combination of both. So four, uh, two Pokemon and two energy, you can shuffle up four. four po two Pokemon, four energy. A little confusing, I don't know why they did it that way, but it gives you all kinds of options, so whatever. We have one counter gain. This allows you, if you're behind on prizes, to, uh, uh, it, it reduces your attack cost by one colorless. We have two Viridian Force for searching out those energies and a darkness energy. It's a really good deck, really strong. I wanna say it won a uh, deck down, a uh, special event down in Puerto Rico or something like that, I can't remember exactly, but for 41 bucks and 48 cents, that's a pretty good deal. Now let's move on to the second one, which will be Grand Bull. Let's go ahead and view that real quick. Grand Bull, so this deck right here has been around for a while, but it keeps getting even better. Um, it, sadly, a lot of it is gonna rotate out soon, but it is a really good deck. We have four Snubble, 
because you've got to involve, evolve into Gramble to be able to attack. We've got four Gramble because this is your main attacker. And for one Fairy Energy, it does 30 damage plus 130 more if you have no cards in hand. And the way you get those no cards in hand is with Macargo and its smooth over ability. Uh, this says you can put a card from your deck on top, and shuffle your deck and then put that card on top. We also have one Ditto Prism Star because this can evolve into any stage one Pokemon. So it allows you to have uh, basically either four Slugma or five Gramble, so really good. We also have one Hoopa with Evil Admonition. This is the one that says it does more damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that have an ability. Now getting into the trainer cards, we have pretty much the same thing. We have three Marnie, two Diantha. Diantha's really good if you have a Pokemon, if a Fairy Pokemon was knocked out, you get to simply search two cards from your discard pile and put them into your hand, whether that be a Fairy Energy or a Gramble or whatever it needs to be. We have one Cynthia because Shuffle Draw is a good thing, one Faba. You get to discard a Pokemon tool, an energy card, or a special energy card, or a stadium, and put it in the Lost Zone, so they never get it back. We have one Rosa, because this is still a really good card. Like I said, there's going to be some recurring themes, so this is one of them. Four Great Ball, allows you to look at the top seven cards of your deck, and uh, take a Pokemon you find in it and put it into your hand. Four Pokemon Communications, because you need to swap a Pokemon sometimes that's in your hand with another Pokemon in the deck, and this is the only way and the best way to do it. We have four Quick Ball, search for, uh, search for uh, basic Pokemon. We have four Custom Catcher. Custom Catcher allows you to play one and draw until you have three cards in your hand, or play two and drag a Pokemon from your opponent's bench up into the active position. We have three Switch, because sometimes you need to get into the active position. One Ordinary Rod, because recovering things out of the discard is always good. One Pal Pad, this allows you to shuffle up to two in any combination of supporters, not any combination. It allows you to shuffle up the two supporters from your discard pile into your deck. We have one reset stamp because whenever they knock you out and they're down to one prize, it's always good to hit them for reset stamp, knocks them down to one card in hand and hopefully they did draw and you win the game that way. One great catcher because GXs are still running around and this allows you to discard two cards and just drag it off the bench. One Fairy Charm ability. This one gives you immunity to both Pokemon GX and EX, so really good in this GX heavy format. Although V, v cards are obviously not covered in this, but GXs and EXs are. One Fairy Charm Lightning. This is for the Picaram matchup specifically. It allows uh, your uh, Fairy Pokemon to never get hit by Lightning Pokemon. Gives them immunity. One Wondrous Labyrinth. This uh, card says that any card that's not a fairy Pokemon has uh, one extra attack cost. So anybody that's attacking for three now has to attach four, five, they have to attach six, so on and so forth. We have one Shrine of Punishment. You're not playing a GX Heavy deck. So being able to drop 10 damage counters, or not 10 damage counters, 10 damage on all GX Pokemon is just amazing. And we're running six fairy energy with that. And as you can see right here, this car, this deck as of right now is $49.43. So it's really a good budget Pokemon deck. Uh, it's kind of tricky to play, but a lot of people have seen a lot of success, including guys like Tord Reckliff and some guys, higher names like that. So really do recommend this deck, especially if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, because it does take some time to learn how to play it. Next, we have Macargo GX. Now, this is probably one of the uh, more heavy hitting decks. It's more GX focused, so it does a lot of damage, and you don't have to finagle so much to get to get to get the win. You just have to hit hard and continue to hit hard. We have one Cramorant V, and this card right here is basically for this second attack that says Spit Shot for three energy, so a welder and attachment for turn, you get to do 160 damage anywhere on your opponent's field. So what that means if they have a Dedene laid down, it's just a free two prizes right there. Two Oranguru, this is the one with the Primate Wisdom. This one is, uh, it says once uh, during your turn, you may switch a card from your hand to the top card of your deck. So in this case, you wanna take a Fire Energy, place it on top card of your, of your uh, of your deck and then draw that card to find out what you get but mainly you're wanting to use it for Macargo GX's ability that says crushing charge when you discard the top card of your deck if it's a fire energy or if it's an energy card attach it to one of your Pokemon so with that Oranguru up here you can place a fire energy on top while drawing a card and then with Macargo GX you get to draw that card or you get to discard that fire energy straight away and put it right onto a Pokemon. We also have one Heat Train GX because its GX attack is just amazing. Um, its ability is also good. It goes in good combination with it. Once during your turn, whenever uh, you move it from the bench to the active spot, you get to move as many fire energies with it as you want. So you can just take those fire energies off anything you have, like a Cramorant or Macargo or whatever, and put them onto that Heat Train GX. Now it's, it's uh, main GX attack, Hotburn GX for one fire energy does 
50 times the amount of energy you have on it. So if you have six energy, you're getting a one hit KO on pretty much everything in the format right now. We are also playing one nine tails V because why would you not? It's uh, 200 HP. It does um, its first attack for one fire, two colorless, nine tails, nine tailed shape shifter. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and use it as this attack. So you get to use any attack that your opponent has in the active position for just three energies. Um, I know the new Charizard V is coming out and VMAX is coming out soon. It has an attack for five energies, but if you go up against it with nine tails, you can use it for only three and it does like 300 damage, something crazy like that. So that's it for the Pokemon line. Let's get into the trainer cards. We have one Heat Factor Prism car star. That is uh, a stadium. You discard a fire energy, draw three cards, really good. Two Cherish Ball. This just says search your deck for GX Pokemon, put it in your hand. Two Evolution Incense. Get out them evolution Pokemon. One Pal Pad to shuffle the supporters back, usually welders. One Fiery Flint. This is uh, when you play this card, discard two more cards. Search your deck for four fire energy. So, really good. <coughs> we have one Ordinary Rod because getting uh, uh, energy and a Pokemon back from the discard is always good. Two Giant Hearth. Discard a card and search your deck for two fire energy. Really good as it is. Three Welder. Attach, um, you may attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon and then draw three cards, really good. One reset stamp, that way we can stamp them down whenever they get the, get ahead of us. Four quick ball for searching out them basics. Two for the shuffle draw, the Cynthia. Uh, shuffle your hand in your deck and then draw six cards. Three Pokenav, this allows you to look at the top three cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon or an energy card and put it in your hand and then you get to stack the last two cards however you want. Two air balloon. This gives your Pokemon two, two less retreat cost. So they only, uh, you know, if uh, Macargo goes in here, he has three retreat, he would be retreating for one. So really good there. We have four fire crystal, put three fire energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Two switch from getting to the bench to the active. One Pokemon communications, cause shuffling back in that Pokemon you don't need and getting a Pokemon you do need is always good. One great catcher for uh, getting out those, uh, dragging those GX Pokemon off the bench and getting a big KO. Two Marnie, already went over this, shuffle your hand into your deck and, uh, or shuffle your hand, put it on the bottom of your deck and draw five and your opponent draws four. And then we have 13 Fire Energies. And as you can see, this deck right here is only $57.76 as it stands right now. Now the problem with these decks are, besides the Obstagoon, the Galarian Obstagoon's one, is they will rotate out with the nearest rotation. But that's like another four or five months away, so you can still have fun with them while they're here. But either way, they're real cheap, they're real competitive, and they do an amazing job. So yeah, this is my top three budget decks. If you like this video, if you like this kind of content, be sure and subscribe and hit me up down in the comments what you think is a better pick or if you agree, and we'll see you in the next video.